been doing this for years and years. I'm an 18 gallon donor and you know there's just a lot of veterans out there that are getting to the age where we all need help and it's just a good thing to do. Makes me feel good. This has been a wonderful partnership. Uh, you guys are supporting us and helping us do some work we do like restoring the PBY plus you know again it, it couldn't be a better environment for people to see this. We get 100,000 visitors a year and if they can come and see us doing this too it kind of promotes them to, to help pitch in and help. It's a great idea, great partnership. The airplane behind me is a PBY 5A. It was a patrol bomber during World War II. Not very fast, not very glamorous, but it could fly a long time, up to 10 hours could stay in the air so it would go out it would look around and try to find like enemy ships and or troop movements and stuff like that and then report back it really wasn't a combat airplane the other thing about it is it's a seaplane so it's actually a, a, what they call flying boat it can actually land in the water so it was used also for search and rescue where people were shot down like George Bush who was um, who just passed away um, he was once picked up by a PBY, he was also picked up by a submarine when he was shot down over Chichijima, which is a famous one. But PBYs rescued a lot of flyers throughout the years, that, uh, war years that had been shot down. This plane had a history, it was a military airplane and then it was surplus like a lot of them after the war. This airplane actually had combat damage, it, it fought, which is unusual that airplanes survived the war when they went out to the field and came back because it, it was too expensive to bring them back. So, um, but this one was up in the Aleutians, which is up off of Alaska, and they did bring it home. And then it was uh, used as a passenger airplane up in Alaska, and then it was used as a fire bomber, and it was retired, and then we got it in about 2007. It's an airplane that people can go in. It's big enough that at air shows and stuff like that. We like to have airplanes that people can actually get in, like our B-17s open, and see what those pilots and crew members had to deal with 75 years ago. The other thing is, is that it honors the greatest generation that really set the foundation for all our freedoms. If they had lost that war against the Germans and the Japanese, we would be in uh, serious trouble. And so this was, um, this is one way to pay tribute to all the veterans who made so many sacrifices. We love Livestream. We're thankful that they came out and to help us. This is an important cause. We are very grateful that they think it's an important cause. And of course, what you guys do in the community, giving the gift of life, um, you can't really beat that. So we're happy to be working with Livestream.